Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Khuram Shazad. Today we are here to talk about stylistics. If you remember in my last class, I gave you some of its origin and historical perspective. I talked about that stylistics had its you know, origin in formalism. In formalism, we basically talk about the form, the linguistic properties which are there on a piece of paper. And today we shall talk about some new concepts which are coming from formalism and they help us to understand the style of a literary text. So the very first concept that we come across is defamiliarization. The concept of defamiliarization comes from formalism and it means that impending normal processing by showing the world in an unusual, unexpected or abnormal manner. It means that we are talking about this world, this world which looks to us very normal, but the job of the literary artist is to create from this world something with the help of language and represent it in such a way that you feel that it is unusual that you feel that it is unexpected to you, that you feel that it is abnormal. So when you make something abnormal, when you make something expected, unexpected, and you, you present it in something different, in, in a different way, so it becomes the familiar world. So this is how there was a discussion in the beginning that how is literary language different from the normal day-to-day -day language and the very first thing that they talked about was that in literary language, we come across such type of words, sometimes, uh, such type of phrases and sentences, okay, which look very unexpected, uh, un, un, uh, abnormal to us, which are presented in an unexpected way. So how the uh, defamiliarization is achieved for this purpose, we have got another concept that is called for grounding. So foregrounding is achieved again with the help of language. For example, it refers to features of the text which in some sense stand out from their surroundings. So we are writing language in such a way that they stand out from their surroundings. So language is used in such a way that the author is foregrounding something, some words, and of course, these words, they have got meanings, some phrases, some sentences, and they have got ideas. So those ideas are foregrounded. And we reach or we attain this foregrounding by through, uh, through do, uh, two ways. One is called deviation and the other is called parallelism. So deviation, which means something which is unexpectedly or which is ungrammatically okay expressed in language something which is going against the normal norms the normal values of language which is against the rules and regulations of language so it means that it is deviant so very first example that we see in jeffrey's book is of a poem in which the author thomas in 2003 writes a phrase a grief ago now when we see or when we read the word a and then ago it comes to our mind that there should be some countable noun countable thing which should come before ago so here a grief ago so grief is a kind of deviation which is at the level of semantics our mind which was expecting that there will be something for example, a 10 minutes ago, a 5 minutes ago, but right now what we can see is that a grief ago. So semantically it is deviant. As a result of this deviation, we can see that the author has foregrounded the title of the poem. So the title of the poem is basically a grief. Then this is also known as external deviation then sometimes we come across internal deviation as well. For example, if we read the poet E.E. E. Cummings, 
we know that e e cummings usually he always wrote his name with small letters but when we write each other's name it is with capital letters e e cummings so e e cummings he was a stylist and he was writing a poem so he wrote sing for it is spring and s is capital s is capital so it means that he is talking about spring season so you know that in the western tradition spring season it is always related with happiness it is related with spring when spring is coming people are happy okay so birds are singing they are chirping and people they feel very happy about it so same is the case symbolically the word day it talks about something which is good and night it symbolizes darkness night it symbolizes that there is something bad there is some evil force okay so this is how people they talk about different kinds of things so you can see that here spring the word spring it is starting with capital s for it is spring so this is the poem 63 by cummings okay so this is internal deviation usually we see that the very first letter of the verse it is capitalized but here you can see sing it is starting with a small letter and it is spring and s is capital so this is internal deviation then the concept of deviation we can see that the authors they highlight they foreground it in their text in their poems if deviation is unexpected irregularity in language parallelism is unexpected regularity in linguistic in in uh, literary text for example i give you the other example of parallelism and every week he tipped up half his wage and what he did not spend each week he saved and praised his wife for every meal she made and once for laughing punched her in the face so here there are four verses in this stanza and we can see that and every verse it is starting with and and a is capital and every verse is ending with a sound wage saved made and face so there is parallelism in all these four lines or verses we can find parallelism and the first three you know lines they are talking about a positively valued characteristic and the fourth line it is negatively valued characteristic that the author is talking about so this is from poem armitage okay so this is called parallelism now there are some other characteristics that later on i shall talk about for example there are you know sounds there is alliteration there is consonance there is assonance so we will have to see at different levels that what kind of deviation what kind of foregrounding what kind of parallelism the authors have used if you remember in my first lecture i talked about four levels that we can analyze a literary or non literary text at four different levels one is called phonological level second is called say morphological level third is called syntactic level and fourth is called semantic level so at all these levels we can understand with the help of examples different kinds of deviations different kind or kinds of parallelism and this is how with the help of deviation and parallelism the authors they you know foreground the concept foreground the language and they show their style okay so i read 
some of the verses from a poem leisure what is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare so care and stare a a there is you know the same sound which is coming at the end of the verse care and stare a a no time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as sheep and cows so now boughs and cows care and stare a a boughs and cows b b no time to see when woods we pass where squirrels hide their nuts in grass so pass and grass so a a b b and c c so this is the you know rhyming scheme of this poem in another poem that is maya angelo when she is talking about uh, women work she also creates and uses deliberately intentionally alliterative sounds i have got children to tend the clothes to mend the floor to mop the food to shop the chicken to fry the baby to dry i have got company to feed the garden to feed i have got shirts to press the tots to dress the cane to be cut i got a clean up this hut so we can see tend mend a a mop shop bb fry dry cc feed weed e e press dress ff so this is how we can determine the rhyming scheme uh, okay or alliteration so far as phonological aspect is concerned of the literary text but the four you know uh, levels that i have talked about i will be talking about them in my uh, next lectures in detail let me summarize i have talked about the concept of deviation for grounding okay deviation means that something which is normal it is presented to the people in an abnormal or unexpected way deviation means that something which is grammatically incorrect in our normal use of language okay in 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 language where the structures where the phonology where the morphology okay the authors they deliberately they knowingly you know they break the rules and they create deviation so deviation is attained with the concept of foregrounding foregrounding means something in language which stands out so far as its surrounding is concerned and in foregrounding we have talked about deviation and parallelism so deviation and parallelism they can be dealt with at four different levels that is phonological morphological syntactic and semantic level thank you very much